Gospel of October the 20th, 2015 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples Gird your loins and light your lamps And be like servants who wait their master's return from a wedding Ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival Amen, I say to you He will gird himself have them recline a table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch, and find them preparing this way, blessed are those servants. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just going to concentrate on this very short gospel, and so beautiful and so deep. We will talk about faith, we will talk about prayer. The Lord is talking to his disciples. At first glance, we can dismiss the whole parable or the whole uh, narrative as just some sort of domestic precaution, but it's far from that. The Lord is talking to you and me today. Gird your loins and light your lamps. Why do we have to gird our loins? The Lord is saying, be like servants who await their master's return. If we are truly servants, and the master has gone out of the house, and we are some, somehow in, in charge, at least of our own house, of our own selves, before the Lord, then we have to wait for our master. It would be disastrous to go to sleep. And the master comes in, knocks, knocks the door, and I'm asleep. I, I am all in shambles. I have to run and, and light, find the light to, to, to light my, my lamp and then dress myself and the poor master is going to be outside for five, ten minutes before I get ready and perhaps he will be upset at me because I was and I am in the first place his servant and I should be awakened so I should be girded I should be all dressed up and ready it would be not enough even to have received the faith, and that is what the lamp is. The light in the lamp, first of all, is the gift of faith, the gift of the presence of the Holy Spirit, that by His power, by His energies, will open my heart, open my mind, my conscience, to the presence of God, to the presence of my Master. But faith is not just a gift, it is a synergy. It has to go with the power of God, with the energy of God, along with myself, with the will of God, with my, along with my will. Then we start walking together. Faith is a gift that has to be grown through the everyday effort on our part. How does it grow? It grows by, by the everyday dealing with one another. When we meet someone and that person is likable and we like that person and then we all of a sudden we start going out with him or her and the visits become frequent, we start exchanging names, families, histories, stories and all, all kinds of stuff and then we start to get to know each other on a frequent day, in a frequent way to a point where we start growing confidence and we say and we can even say hey I know what he's going to think I know what he's going to do it is the very same but because we live in this world and our eyes are somehow veiled we cannot see God so the way to do that to encounter God is by prayer every time we pray then we are cleansed, our souls are cleansed, and we are purified more and more until we can see the signs of God in our lives. It is much easier to turn around and see in our lives those points of sorrow, those points of great joy, which we did not overcome or pass through by our own strength. 
but rather we were carried in the hands of our Lord. When we are living through that, through life, it is very hard to see the hand of God. But when we turn around and see our past, then we can see how God was accompanying us and even carrying us. Everyday prayer is so important for us. Also the result of a good conscience examination. Remember, three lights and one cross. Three minutes to count your blessings. Simple blessings. Your life today, your sight, your speech, the, everything that was given to you, the food, the shelter that you had. And then one minute to remember where you failed the Lord greatest things, the most important things, and another minute to reconcile. If you do that daily, 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 then you will start seeing how God loves you in truth, not just imagination, but the truth of the blessings of every day that are concrete and real. All of that increases the faith, increases the, the opportunity that we give to the Holy Spirit to shine His light on us on our way. That's what the lamp is. The lamp can also be the words of the Lord when we read them. So we are to be dressed up and ready. While I started re reading this gospel I remembered the canticle, the Song of Songs. There is a very tender passage there where the soul says my loved one came looking for me during the night and because I was already on bed I didn't open up for him and then I decided to let him in but when I opened the door he was not there anymore and then this love this loving soul goes out in search of his loved one but he does not find him, but she does not find him. It is the same thing. That is what the Lord is telling us. Should he come in the second or third watch, blessed are those servants that are waiting for him. Yeshua Ahav Nafshi, which means Jesus, love of my soul. Love of my soul. It is he whom we are waiting when we are in, when we are in love we want to have the person the object the object of that love close to us soon but then god does not allow us to do that because we have to be purified it is a process where he has the initiative but don't despair Santa Teresa de Jesús de Ávila says, if you're looking for him, it's because you already have him. So let us pray to our Father in the name of Jesus, that he may grant us again his Holy Spirit, that we might be ready, dressed and ready, with our lamps fully lighted through the entirety of our lives until we receive the visit of our Lord. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.